Here I was running early in the morning uh, with the new Nova Plus 3. Let's check it out after 100 miles. Wanna play toss and wanna hate this, although it's sure. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, although it's sure. And make a statement, I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, although it's sure. And make a statement. Everything I do so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vent Welcome back to Randa in a new video and uh, happy new year to all of you uh, I'm not in my studio today as you can see and uh, I hope you can hear me Today I'm gonna talk about the new uh, Nova Blast 3 after 100 miles You can find all the specs in the initial video review uh, which link you can find up here uh, where you can find uh, uh, weight, uh, uh, drop, uh, stack 8 and so on including also the running dynamics but as usual, let's split the video in three main chapters, uh, overall condition of the outsole, midsole and upper, my impressions uh, and finally the conclusions. Let's start from the outsole. So I confirmed that the grip is uh, good but not great, uh, especially in, in wet conditions and uh, in the old concrete. I ran several uh, uh, times early in the morning here and um, it was 80% of humidity already early in the morning, therefore the streets were uh, very wet. Uh, I changed the shoe in the morning after just to check if it was uh, uh, actually the, the concrete uh, uh, or uh, actually it was the, the shoe. And um, yeah, unfortunately, the shoe was really uh, slippery. So it's uh, related to the uh, Nova Blast 3 uh, and not only to the concrete. So in wet condition, I would not really suggest uh, the Nova Blast 3. Apart from that, uh, the rubber looks uh, still good, uh, in very good condition, no worse. Uh, even in the spots where I'm used to land, uh, like uh, in, um, in the external side of the forefoot, for instance, uh, or in the trampoline, that, which seems to be the uh, most exposed part of the outsole. Yeah, there are no signs of wear, so major signs of wear. Therefore, I would say uh, uh, my prediction about durability is uh, uh, is a good a good durability. At least I would say other 300 miles for sure. I also tested the shoe in dirty roads, but what shall I say? This is a shoe made for uh, running in the on the roads. Uh, I don't believe it's made for dirty roads. Uh, you can try, but. Uh, it was not a good feeling to be honest, but it doesn't collect any stones. And in general, the outsole, I would say, it's a good outsole with, the, um, I would say, uh, a good grip, uh, especially in uh, dry conditions. One thing to remark is that the wider sole in this case uh, helps a lot because uh, despite uh, the, um, I would say, the weak grip in the outsole in wet condition, you have still a, a wider outsole which uh, helps in terms of stability. It's all now, but guys, before to go ahead, Please, if you like this content, smash the like button here below and uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, you know, it's uh, very important for me and it's just one click for you. Let's uh, uh, keep this channel growing. Uh, you are making me really happy. But let's now continue with the midsole. The Flight Foam Blast Plus seems uh, uh, to be softer, uh, offering uh, more uh, cushioning, uh, but at the same time, uh, less bouncier than other shoes in this category. Uh, the spider the rocker in the forefoot and the smooth ride and the rolling motion, thanks uh, to the trampoline in, in the forefoot, uh, uh, a lack of rebound is very noticeable. I had like the feeling uh, uh, to land in a, a soft pillow, but afterwards to stay there. So no rebound. And this doesn't help when you want to run, uh, for instance, uh, uh, a tempo run training uh, or other uh, fast workouts. I don't believe this is due to the 100 miles that I already run on it, uh, but rather to the midsole that is really soft. And of course, I double checked uh, after 100 miles the running dynamics. Uh, I mean, there are no um, major differences uh, with the dynamics collected during the first impressions. Uh, so if you look for cushioning and comfort, uh, I would say this is exactly the shoes uh, for you. If you like instead the ground feel and uh, uh, firmness uh, uh, and you're looking for a shoe for uh, fast workouts uh, might be not exactly the, <laughs> the right shoe for you. I also noticed that the uh, midsole has a pattern that um, somehow uh, tends to collect uh, dirt uh, but in my case uh, luckily uh, the shoe uh, doesn't look so dirty uh, and it didn't get dirty soon as uh, other shoes uh, that I had in the past so so far so good. 
And actually the contrast between the black uh, uh, color of the upper and uh, this orange color in the midsole is uh, great. I really like this uh, colorway. As I said, the midsole looks to be in great condition, even the um, S-Post foam. Uh, therefore, I confirm, I would say still uh, other 300 miles for sure. Upper now, very breathable, comfortable. Even after a long run, so my feet were uh, not uh, too hot. Uh, despite the warm weather here, we, are, we have still 27 degrees, I believe, uh, in average. Even uh, warmer in some days. So I would say very, very good breathability. I had no rubbing, uh, no wears to mention. The shape of the uh, upper is still in perfect conditions. Probably the um, extra room uh, in the forefoot uh, that I mentioned also in the previous uh, uh, video is uh, um, something that you will notice at the beginning. But since the shoe is made for, uh, I believe, uh, long runs, uh, a slow pace, uh, you know, the, 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 the feet uh, will... Uh, grow a bit uh, during this run, especially long runs, uh, and therefore afterwards you will not notice it and uh, it will get comfortable uh, in any way. So I would say uh, even though at the beginning uh, the foot lockdown when you start to run is uh, not giving you um, the uh, feeling that you would uh, look, uh, but after a long run, or so during the long runs, the, the foot lockdown gets better. Huh? And uh, certainly this is not a shoe for running fast, as I said, uh, therefore to have a super great uh, lockdown is uh, for me not uh, that important. I confirm that the heel counter is uh, okay despite the extra padding uh, that for me is unnecessary. The laces are perfect and the tongue is great, no problem at all, it's uh, one of my favorite uh, tongues. The impressions that I uh, collected during this uh, uh, Ananda Miles is that uh, the Nova Blast is uh, uh, for sure uh, a light shoe for this category. And of course, as I said uh, at the beginning uh, in the initial video review, this is a shoe for long runs and I would not use it uh, for fast workouts, despite um, they did a very good job uh, decreasing the weight uh, dramatically. For some short progression maybe it would be fine as well because you start slower and then you finish uh, faster but still uh, I would prefer other shoes uh, for such workouts. But guys, if you are used to uh, running uh, uh, shoes like the Adios, uh, uh, the Adios 7 or the Adios Pro or uh, somehow one of the models in the um, Adi Zero lineup, uh, this shoe for sure uh, you will feel uh, um, a lot of shoe. Uh, in, in your feet, uh, uh, but I don't believe uh, uh, it's due to the weight, but rather for the lack of bounce that you uh, won't get with the shoe. I would say in this case, uh, still uh, goes for another model if you are looking for a uh, tempo run, uh, for a shoe for tempo run or for uh, fast workouts. On the other hand, the Nova Plus is perfect when you don't have uh, any ambition uh, and uh, maybe uh, uh, after um, a speed workout, you need uh, uh, a day for recovery and you need a shoe with uh, more stability than is the shoe that uh, I would like to use. It's perfect for this kind of training. So for the recovery days or for the slow runs, I would say it's perfect. So in conclusion, for training, I like a lot, especially for long runs and the recovery days, uh, also for some short uh, progressions, uh, but not for interval trainings and tempo runs. Uh, at least in my opinion, I would like to run this training in other shoes, uh, like for instance, for the tempo runs, uh, I would say the uh, uh, kind of Hyperion Tempo or A6 uh, Evo Ride 3, and for interval training, so of course, I would go for uh, shoes like RC4 or uh, uh, Adio 7. For racing, I believe this is not ideal at all. Uh, as I said, uh, this is a shoe only to use uh, for uh, slow runs, long runs, uh, and uh, recovery days. Well, guys, this was interesting, uh, and that's why I'm doing this video uh, to keep you updated about uh, uh, the new models and. Um, the pros and cons of each one. If you like this content, please uh, leave a like. Uh, you know, it's uh, very important for me. It's just one click for you. And uh, if you are not yet subscribed, subscribe. And uh, as usual, as usual, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Keep running. <laughs> Ciao. <clears throat> Ice in my veins.
lanes I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping off Singing straight Never stop Never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say Yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never captain's face I won't stop till I hear him say